of the new uh, things you hear us talk about ModDev, our new modular development uh, system that is built into Lectora Desktop 21. Um, you'll be hearing a lot about this. Um, it's not just about templates. There's a lot of instructional design built into ModDev, uh, a lot of process and a whole lot of fun. So our frameworks are kind of like the skeleton uh, for getting started in ModDev. Uh, a framework is a full unstyled course template. We heard recently, uh, Joe and I, from somebody who used to work on the custom team back with Trivanus, and they were saying there sounds like a lot of stuff that we can unpack and look at just in the logic that was built into those frameworks. So they're not just for new people, they're also for those of you who have been building for a while, kind of take a new look at some instructional flows and see how some things are done in Lectora. The ModDev system is comprised of those frameworks, themes, page layouts, wireframes, style packs. You'll get a sneak peek at a lot of those things here. They all fit together in a kind of a mix and match way that is brand new to Lectora Desktop 21. Um, we have a brand new UI that was, uh, Bill's going to actually show a little bit, uh, give you a tour of some of this. It was actually built using XAPI data uh, from a test that was created in Lectora. We have automated button states and uh, button groups. A lot of our devs, this was a very popular feature in our early release and previews. Uh, devs are finding this really helps streamline development and using buttons, not just for uh, navigational buttons, but for creating buttons for interactivity. And now you can even add uh, an image and make a button. So if you want to click on a character and change a character pose, you can do that as a button. Scrolling action. This is really cool. Another favorite of Bill's. Uh, he's done some really amazing things uh, using the action triggers that you can now uh, build. Uh, let me back up. When you scroll, you can trigger an action in Lectora. And that also has all kinds of interesting uh, creative uh, opportunities for uh, gaming, for uh, longer courses, longer scrolling courses in mobile. Um, I'll let Bill talk about it because he's the one that's actually playing with it and he can speak to it much better than I can. Um, sync events, we have improved media uh, event syncing, uh, easier control of media actions. And you can now import custom palettes. We have visual style previews with uh, when you're inheriting uh, elements. Uh, better guides and rulers that actually uh, adjust in uh, two different views. So if you're working in a mobile view and you set up your guides, that's different from uh, when you're working in desktop view. Another great productivity feature. Um, we've got, of course, Lectora. Everybody knows Lectora for accessibility. That is one of the hallmarks of Lectora, always has been. Uh, we've improved closed captioning. We have some better media controls where you can adjust the speed of your media play. Um, lots of other little details there. These are all available on uh, our website, so you can dig in. Uh, even better, you can get a trial and, and take a look at some of these features yourself. XAPI, Bill's gonna be talking about the XAPI and tracking. Uh, it's amazing the way you can get to where you're actually tracking learner behaviors, not just what they're clicking on, on the screen. And one that final little element, a lot of people ask us, can you please bring back the mail to action in Lectora and it's back. So you can now use this to solicit feedback or share course data or completion information. So we, the number one thing is you speak, we listen. We wanna hear from you. We wanna know what's important to you in Lectora. We're investing in Lectora time, energy, and of course resources, because we wanna make the best Lectora that has ever 
ever been available. And it comes from your feedback. So thank you. Thanks for being here.